the most important material in this world, yes, steel, which is used all the way from small pin to the appliances around your house, from a small car all the way to the train and the plane and submarines. Look around and tell me if you can find a single thing that is not surrounded or that is not affected by steel. We are so much surrounded by steel that every day life you are either in contact of it or you are getting a product that is in contact with steel. So steel is a very important part of our life. So let's understand in this video how steel gets extracted from the iron ores all the way to the blast furnace and how we get it in a pig form. So pig steel is the primary steel form which is further processed using different mechanisms. It all starts with blasts like this. If you look at this blast, they are called the controlled explosions by dynamites. So when the scientists or the geologists decide that there is an iron ore nearby, they set up a controlled explosions and break the rocks. All these big rocks are broken into a small rock. This rock containing hematite and magnetite are further transported into the crushers. So what these crushers do is the crushers break all these big rocks into smaller pieces. Once they are crushed into smaller pieces, they are further filtered and screened to get a rich iron content using a magnetic bit. So when we filter them out into a certain size, then it is easier for anyone to transport those small pieces of rocks rather than transporting a big pieces of rocks. So they are getting transported either using trucks or using a train into a site where we have a blast furnace. So all these crushed iron ores are further mixed with limestone and coke, which are high calcium content and coke is high carbon content. Is, we get the coal and we burn it at 1200 degrees Celsius, 1250 degrees Celsius without the presence of oxygen. When we have this coke, which is a high carbon content, mixed up with the ferrous oxide, oxygen in ferrous oxide gets mixed up with the carbon content that is in a coke and it creates carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide gases. So limestone is nothing but a calcium rich content which you normally get it near sea or river sites or river rocks. It is a special kind of a rock which has a high calcium content in it. These limestones have calcium oxides which is the CSO3. So first step is to get the oxygen out from the ferrous oxides which will give you a good form of iron. But sometimes with iron, there is another content called silica is also mixed up with these rocks. We use this limestone which uses its calcium to further react with silica that is inside the iron ore. It creates calcium silicate as a byproduct. So this calcium silicate is normally gathered on the top of the liquid iron. This is also known as slag. What we normally do is we get the coke and limestone and iron ore mixture all the way from the top of the blast furnace iron ore starts getting melted and starts getting reaction with the carbon content that is in the coke so that will start make carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide which will which are just the gases which will just further go from the top of the blast furnace and remaining will be in the liquid form going in the bottom area of the furnace calcium from the limestone reacts with the silica that is inside the iron ore and that is what we call a slag to take it out from the top of the liquid iron mixture. On the bottom of the whole blast furnace you will find a liquid or molten form of iron which is further down dragged through the pipe. This is the primary process of making steel and you will get a really good quality of iron. But because iron is a very hard and brittle element, we need to add some alloying element to add or adjust the properties of iron. And that we will cover in the next video, which I'm going to put in next week. Thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, please like, share and subscribe this video. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you.